Hi, this uh, watercolour. I've just adapted, or tried to adapt my watercolour setup so that it could to combine it with my main studio easel. I'll show you this, my easel, the main one, the one for all the upright stuff. But this is just a tabletop easel that I've got resting on a, a sort of a table that, that I made to go across the front of the studio easel, radial easel. But it's not as flat as I would like, but it's about uh, 60, 65 degrees to the vertical. So, uh, there you are, that's, oh, well you can't see that can you? But it's, it's, it's not as upright as it would have been if it had been on the main easel. So we'll see how we go. I'm going to do a sort of a Somerset Levels type of painting, or just from imagination. So I'll, uh, I'll, there's my palette, lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, Payne's grey and burnt sienna. It's, this is also my basic uh, uh, acrylic palette with the addition of black instead of Payne's grey and um, uh, orange and uh, a viridian. That's the only green I use, I tend to use. I do use bright green in acrylic, but these are Cotsman watercolours, 21mm tubes, they're quite cheap. Online they're about £3 from big super, super art stores, they're about 5 so it says it all really. This is Fabriano, £130, you can buy that um, in the UK anyway from Curtis Ward or, or Grantham's Arts Discount, and it's about £30 plus post and package for 100 sheets of this quarter imperial, or well, as Alan Owen would say, quarter plate. So I'll wet the paper all over, Got my big pot, I usually keep a big pot of, pot of water, that's about th three, four litres. Okay, so give the paper a bit of a, a bit of a wet. Now I want this quite, Quite a simple sky. I'm having a few four days off now after this. It's a bank holiday. Okay, so I'll put in a, a bit of a lemon yellow, a, 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 burnt, a raw sienna, sorry, raw sienna. I'm, st I'm still in the acrylic mode, so just just to give the light in the sky go all over and I'm going to use just a simple wash of of Payne's Grey and alizarin. I'm just just sweep that across the sky across the landscape and a bit darker for some shadow Okay, that'll do. So I'll put some water there for the time set levels it. It got flooded two or three years ago really badly. Right, I'll give that a dry just so to fix it. I don't want to go into cauliflowers, but I want to crack on with it. Just to take the shine off of it, and I'll reclip. You don't need to. Oh, dear. Right, try that again. I had one of the clips behind the behind this uh, centre column the slide. Right, okay. Well, using those colours, uh, I'll mix a bit of blue in with, with, with it as well. And we'll, we'll invent sort of Glastonbury, Glastonbury tour, tour. 
would be exact spot. And some yellow. A bit of a horizon there. Now we'll get some nice rich dark. A bit of uh, burnt sienna. Uh, paints grey, yellow. Good rich green. My paints are a little bit stiff. Hope I'm not masking it. I want to put lots of trees on that horizon. to look like trees and look, look like buildings. Okay, right, um, we're going downhill a bit there, so I'll just rectify that. Okay. I'll put in some, some reflections. Hake is losing its hair. And we'll put in some green. Okay, that'll do. Um, would that this is a problem with this angle with water when you're working with water. Gravity, this isn't a satisfactory arrangement. But I want to put in some, some darker sort of uh, foliage. Should be a sort of bank with a tree on, something like that. And another one out here, a bit further back. A bit of blue in there. And we'll put in some. This is to represent just grasses showing through the water. Okay, let's get some little dark in there now. So burnt sienna grey, warm colours. Alright, got that nice sienna break, breaking through into there. Alright, let's uh, scrape out some grasses. Just a indication of something going going on. Right, let's put in some some trees now. This is it's all back to basics. This one, right? So winter clothing.
it's warm in that one. Shadow in here. Just goes to show how soon you lose your the technique when you don't do it. Right, that's uh, just a uh, fix them up into there. Can put some harder stuff in there as well. Okay, I'll strengthen that up in a moment. Let's just get some of this in. <coughs> right, we'll put a bit of blue. Yeah. Try and get the canopy, it's a realistic shape without overdoing it. And that's going to come down to, to that bit here. Uh, stretch out the paper, get it nice and flat. And there's just a bit of detailing now. Uh, I'll just dry it off. I think at the moment, the only bit of this I like is the sky. But anyway, if someone put some detail in, it might. Uh, redeem itself. Just a sort of impressionist type of brushwork here, we don't want portraits, we're not doing detail. Just thicken up some, they just anchor the, the bases of the trees. Just the sort of scrubby trees really is. Right, let's put in some detail there. Just some detail in the murky reflections of the water. And if I 
put a bit of a just take some down there. Put a couple of birds in or the over the blobs. Well, I'll give it a signature. I'll go back to my other easel arrangements, I think. The sketching easel, the John Her or Frank Herring easel. I'll put this in a mount, we'll have a look. It's probably not as bad as I think it is. Doesn't look too bad. Maybe we're we're we are our own worst critics. Oh, there we are. So there's just being around. I'm going to go back to the, to the shallower angle. Does it go uphill there? Uh, that's better. Right. Okay. So Somerset Somerset levels. That hill was just a bit too obvious, I won't put the tour, like the Glast Glastonbury tour on the top of it. The little uh, the chapel or folly, whatever it is. Um, so there we are, thanks for watching, bye bye.